Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, welcome to WFSO Talk. Um, as y'all probably can see, I think y'all on Twitch can see me a little bit better than what it was before, but it's got to be something on there, and because I don't know why it ended up being so dark where you got a whole bunch of lights on, and I don't know. So we're going to try to do better, and hopefully you guys will, you know, appreciate the channels and all that stuff. So, um... Oh, cool. We got another follower. So that's cool. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Still can't. Um, it's, it's, it's Twitch. It's Twitch. Oh. That's what it is. Um, yeah, I've been doing... Yeah, uh, except for what happened tonight with this Bucks game. Um, for the ones that can see me live and the ones that's listening to the podcast and the guys up here that's listening and watching on YouTube. Yeah, uh, it was not a good game. The first half was interesting. Then, as y'all can tell, looking at the third quarter, it just got bad. And the Bucks tried to make a little bit of a comeback, but it just wasn't enough in the fourth. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Um... I'm glad to, you know, wear this hat because I always said, like, I didn't start doing it early this year, which I should have because, well, I did it the um, year before. I didn't do it none last year, last season, I should say. So I'm going to start doing it this season. So if the Bucks end up losing two straight or more, <laughs> you're going to see me wearing this flash hat. As y'all can see, um, okay, I'll I'll follow you uh, whenever I get the um chance to do that. So if you're on Twitter, then yeah, I'll follow you on there. Um, but yeah, just talking to one of the subscribers. So hey, finally they you know they coming. But anyways, uh, 130 to 142, the Indiana Pacers defeated the Milwaukee Bucks. I already told y'all before, like uh, Monday's uh, game, that regardless of what's going on, you know, Pacers going to win the season series. It, it come down to Monday's game, and they won Monday. And as you can tell, that they lost today. Yeah, not good. Um, it's like they had a little bit of lead in the first quarter, but um, they let that go a little bit. So you see in the first quarter, as we would like the um, scoring halves or scoring quarters, wherever you want to call them, um, Indiana was up by two, 33 to 31. So the close game, um, the Bucks were up on um, the second quarter, 37 to 33, but so they was up by two and a half. Then, you know, suddenly you see that they're, um, they just couldn't stop them in the third quarter. And it's like, I don't know what to blame here. And like, would you blame it on the scoring? Like, they, they just couldn't score or blame it on the defense or blame it on the coach? <laughs> As you hear my wife say, blame it on the alcohol. But, um, Anyways, you know, as I was about to say that um, the bench did the well for the bench for the Bucks did okay, but the Pacers bench did a little bit better. We will talk about that in a bit, but it was just crazy. But like I said, that third quarter, forty-seven to twenty-nine. Then Bucks had led the quarter with thirty-three to twenty-nine. Just wasn't enough. Um, I don't know. Maybe some of the bench could play a little bit more. And um, I think the coach's defensive scheme is not working. And I don't know why he doesn't see that. It's probably is blind. But, like, it's not, like, bad enough to say call off his head or anything like that. So now we're in the double digit loss with 10 and, you know, we're still on the pace again, like 60 wins. So that's still some good news. 
Um, let's go with the team stats. And it was just like I said, like both teams, it was just it was just a field goals that just at so let's go to the Bucks um team stats. Okay, you got a uh, 46 of 92 with 50% from the field, so that's not too bad. Um, 14 of 37 from the um three-point shooting. Um, it's not their worst, but it's not their best either. So it's like in between. Um, 24 or 32 with 75% of free throw shooting. Um, yeah, um, free, free throw shooting just got to get a little bit better. It really does. 10 offensive rebounds with a total of 42 rebounds. And got 30 assists. So that's not too bad. But then again, Giannis was close away from a triple double. So not too bad at that. Um, yeah, 36, six steals, which I think they're, they're uh, the both teams are tied, but we'll look at the Pacers in a minute. Um, four blocks, which, you know, Brooke got to be, you know, part of that. But the turnovers were okay, but it's not too bad. They ended up with the game with 13 turnovers. You know, kind of sad with that. Um, now let's just hit to the Pacers um, team status. 50 of 90, which is a little bit better than the Bucks, uh, 55.6%. Uh, although they didn't attempt more three-pointers than the Bucks did, but they made about the same, and it's – but it's just the Bucks that attempted more. But Pacers, uh, fourteen and thirty-five with forty percent from the three-point shooting, which is good. Twenty-eight of thirty-four from the free throw shooting, which is eighty-two point four percent. Uh, seven offensive rebounds. So at least the Bucks was better on the offensive rebound. But um, forty-four total rebounds. I think yeah, the Pacers did better. In rebounds. Um, they did better in assists with 34 assists, which you know Tyrese Haburn have like a lot of them. Um was a sick, yeah. Um, they were better, uh, Pacers were better with the steals with seven, and the Pacers also did better in blocks with five to their four, and only 10 turnovers. So that's normally like an average you want to have for like a regular team. So just insane. So um, let's look at the player status for the Bucks. Um, it seems like they got their game plan working. Like they double on their top stars, on their, their top two. Because you know, Pacers were doubling on Giannis and Lillard, which is I'm glad they smart enough, you know, to pass it and things like that. But it's just like you know. Don't know what to say. I'm thinking it was because of the defense. That's the only thing I can blame because they scored like 130 points. And it's like normally in the scoring average, that's not bad. But you got a team that's scoring more, another team that's scoring more than you. Then the problem is your defense. So, yeah, that's not good. Um, They just really need to, you know, work on that defense or try to do something. Um, Giannis Antetokounmpo with uh, 26 points, one block, two steals, eight assists, 11 rebounds, so double-double, near triple-double, um, nine to 13 from the free throw, one to two from three, which is not bad, um, eight to 13 from the field, which is not that bad for field goals and only like 36 minutes. So um, Chris Middleton didn't do too bad either, uh, 19 points, but had the most turnovers with four. Um, two blocks, seven assists, six rebounds with one offensive rebounds, only one to one from the free throw, uh, four or seven from three, so which is not too bad, but seven or 13 from the field. Brook Lopez, like I said, scoring wise, I'm glad he stepped up a little bit. Um, he had 16 points. Uh, wow, really had no blocks, so. Don't know what's going on with that. Um, one assist, five rebounds, 
for three offensive rebounds, but then again, he didn't play none in the third. In the, I mean, he didn't play nothing in the fourth quarter. So I think they kind of like kept him out, or he only played like a little bit in the fourth quarter, but didn't play it enough. Um, two or three from the free throw, two or four from three, and six of eleven from the field. Hey, okay, this is pretty good. Um, Damian Lillard with uh, twenty three points, three steals. So that's not bad. Um, five assists, two rebounds with one offensive rebounds, nine to 10 from the free throw. Ooh, two of eight from the three. So, yeah, he's surprisingly missing a lot of his three points. So that's been going on as of late. And the shoot field goal shooting percentages is not that great either, six to 18. So um, they may have, you know, Oh, they end up doing like a player or players only meeting or some sort of meeting because they got to work something out with Damian Litter and see what's going on. Um, but Lee Beasley with eight points, one assist, one rebound, two of five from three, but three of eight from the field. So, yeah, he's his field goal is not doing that good either. Now to the bench where the bench did at least okay, but it was just. Just not enough. And plus, you know, good thing they only pay Pat Connaughton like 14 minutes, but they should play him at least 10. So I want them to go a little bit lower than that. Hopefully they'll do that next time. But um, Bobby Porter's with nine, ooh, excuse me, nine points, one block, one assist, six rebounds with three offensive rebounds, one or two from the free, uh, yeah, free throw, zero, two or three, and four of ten from the field. Yeah, his scoring is yeah, his scoring is like up and down. So it's like he has an on and off switch. So something is is up with Bobby. So like another they need like another meeting or something, like I said. Like they had to um figure out what's going on with everybody or what's going on in practice. My job ball champ. Um 12 points, uh, one assist, three rebounds with one offensive rebounds, zero three from three, which is kind of sad, but was six and nine from the field, which is not too bad. Um, Cameron Payne did okay, seven points, two assists, one rebound, two or three from the free throw, one to two from three, and two or three from the field. And Andre Jackson Jr., um, I think he should have got a little bit more minutes than Connaughton, but that's just my opinion on that. Um, he has seven points, one steal, two assists, two rebounds, one or two from three, not too bad, and three or four from the field. Now let's get to the player status of the Pacers. Jalen Smith, uh, 13 points, uh, three assists, seven rebounds with two offensive rebounds. Two or two from the free throw, one or four from three, and five or eight from the field. Bruce Brown returning. Um, miss he only I think he only played like one um game on the um during this match. Um, I think no two because he did play him in the um the in season tournament finals too. Um, so Bruce Brown with fifteen points and he did foul out. Um, two assists, five rebounds. Five or six from the free throw, zero one from three, and five or seven from the field. You can see right here, there's yellow stain all over it. Uh, now, let's look at this. Neil Smith, um, nine points, three steals, two assists, four rebounds, one on one from three, and four four from the field. So, a little bit of a good shooting night for him. Uh, Miles Turner with 15 points, uh, two blocks, two assists, seven rebounds. Two or four from the free throw, one or four from three, and six and nine from the field. Tyrese Harbert um, had the game high in the team high with 31 points, three blocks, one steal, 12 assists, a double double for him, two rebounds, six to six from the free throw, five of 11 from three, and 10 of 20 from the field. Now, this is where it gets crazy at, folks, because if you can see, three of their players actually did better than our bench. So, 
partly it just sucks that our like our bench is like to blame partly because it's like it seems like some of them some of the players ain't getting going or like what's going on just don't know it's like the bench and the um coach is to blame for this game that's just my opinion Obi Toppin with um 15 points one steal four assists eight rebounds with three offensive rebounds three or four from the free throw two or six from three and five or twelve from the field uh Isaiah Jackson, you got um, nine points, one steal, three assists, four rebounds with two offensive rebounds, one on one from the free throw, and four six from the field. Uh, Buddy Hill um, did a little bit better than the last game. He had 10 points, one steal, uh, two or three from the free throw, two or four from three, and three of eight from the field. And Martha Byrne, I think that's his first name has been, so I could be wrong. So apologize by him. 16 points, um, had the bench high. Um, he also had three assists, one rebound, two, two from the free throw, two, two from three, and six of nine from the field. So these they both done playing with each, against each other in the season series as he ended up wins the season series four to one. So then this well, that one game that they won that was at home. So, so yeah, they're done with the Pacers for the season, or unless they end up being in the playoffs. But it's a potential, you know, they might beat them in the playoffs. Who knows? But the actual next game would be tomorrow, as they go against uh, I think yeah, San Antonio Spurs. Um, maybe Victor Wambiamba will be playing, and we will see like how that matchup will go. With him and Giannis. And what I do with the Because, like I just said, they. Victor Yamba didn't play last time, and we'll see if he's playing this time. So, let's go to the full standings and all that crazy stuff. So, um, while we wait on, you have Art from the Heart. Just if you're interested in fan art, like drawings or like from comic books or anime, like cartoons and stuff like that. You can go to Mike, um, who also with us at WFSO, guys on um thing going on. So just check Moving Dudes. Um, you can also get hold of them on Facebook too. Just look for Moving Dudes. And if you're in Wisconsin or in um, Florida, if you like to move, that you and you need help with moving, they'll be the ones that actually help you move. So within those two states, so get a hold of Sean at 414-807-4299. Okay. Now let's get to it. Um, Miami being a crap out of the Lakers. Ouch. So standings in the conference. Um, Boston still in first right now. They the best record in the NBA, but they lost their last game. Or just like I mentioned, Milwaukee with the two game losing streak. So hopefully, you know, they'll we'll see. Uh, Philadelphia is in third. Um, they won their last game. Uh, Miami, um, they're currently playing right now. They lost their last two before today's game. They're tied with Orlando. and in, Oh, they're actually tied with Indiana, too, for the fourth seed. Oh, this is crazy. Um, Miami, Orlando lost their last two, of course, and Indiana won their last five, including two games against us. Um, Cleveland is in seventh. They won their last game. New York is in eighth. They won their last game. Brooklyn lost their last four day and ninth in Chicago. This is a really plastic Which um I think they're still playing right now against New York. Um they are in tenth. It feels like this. You don't then you got the bottom uh, and you got the single digit on wins with the other three. Which the only longest losing streak right now is like Brooklyn with four and five. I think that's overall. Yeah, five of Minnesota um in the West. Um they're the first seed. They lost their last two. Oklahoma City Thunder lost their last game. Denver Nuggets won their last game. LA Clippers are in fourth. They won their last three. New Orleans Pelicans. Oh, wow. They jumped up. Now they're in fifth, winning their last four. You got Sacramento losing their last game. You got Dallas losing their last game. And they're in seventh. And Phoenix are in eighth. With a four game winning streak. Houston won their last game. 
Um, Lakers lost their last two. They're in 10th. And then you got Golden State, Utah, Memphis. Then you got the the teams that only win in, so in single one, digit wins. Uh, you got Portland fantastic. and San Antonio. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Lost their. It's very, very pretty. Who has a three game losing um, streak, and that's the biggest in the um, West right now, but not the biggest overall. Know, that goes like to Detroit. Detroit. So what we'll do is <sighs> the home. I don't know. I just had to get that out of me that because, way, no, this know, is, like, right ridiculous. Right um, we'll be back on here tomorrow, and I'm glad that you guys on here that's on the live. I'm going to talk to you all a little bit longer on Twitch, so please follow us, and I will follow you. Or you can follow me through my Arctrell Jones account on Twitter. Well, call it X. Or you can also follow Wrestling Fans Speak Out or WFSO on X as well. So just look for those two and I'll try to be on there as much as I can because most likely I don't. So please follow us here on Twitch. So we're I think we're just gonna do these more lives. So I just like to get more content out there. So I'm gonna do this more. So um yeah um if you guys that's on um, the podcast on Spotify, uh, please uh, follow us on Spotify and wherever you get your podcast from, please um, look for us on there and look for Wrestling Fans Speak Out. Please. <laughs> and uh, if you guys on YouTube uh, like this video, give it a like if you like it. Um, it'll show it'll like spread the word of what we're doing, talk about you know, butts content and um, pro wrestling content. Also, you can check out our past videos here on YouTube, like if you like wrestling content and um, <clears throat> excuse me, butts content. So, the last video that I did that was um, the video before I did like a content was like about the bucks, so. I didn't get in trouble with that um doing that content. So that's good news because I'm probably gonna do more, you know, wrestling content too, doing that. So I'll just keep doing that until they give me a strike. So we'll see. Um look for our past podcast on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts from as well. So check that out. Um you guys, thank you very much for listening and watching. <laughs> Until the next video, which will be tomorrow, or whenever hap- or something happens, we will be on here and talk about that. So, until the next podcast, until the next video, you guys, let's see, let me, you guys have a good one, and go, let's go, and hopefully they'll do better tomorrow. That's the only way we can hope, so see you then. Oh, wow, that's crazy. But you guys, I'm still going to talk to in a bit for um, maybe do a little bit of, you know, PJ Tucker talk. So because right now he's rumored to be maybe going to the Bucks. So, yeah, and.